Also, in the narthex, we have a tablet where you can write the names of anyone that you wish uh, to be prayed for during the service. Um, but during all the petitions, we'll be especially lifting up in prayer um, Tasos Marinos. This is a very critical week in his health, for his life and well-being. So we're going to lift up our prayers for St. Pantelemon, uh, for Tasos, and anyone else that you wish to be prayed for uh, during today's service. <clears throat> Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. For no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places, one long dead. My spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all your works. I meditate on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down to the pit. Cause me to hear the mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me to know, O Lord, the way in which I shall walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you have I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. <clears throat> God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surround me, but in the name of the Lord I defend myself against them. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All this came about from the Lord and is wonderful in our eyes. Theos kirios ke pefaneni mine vlogimenos o erchomenos en onomati kiriu. Pandelei mon son of faithful Ebula, we praise in hymns and songs that laud his achievements. The great of mercenaries boast in martyrs bright torch. <laughs> Well, that never shall run dry, spring that streams forth the gifts of God, greatest refuge for those with incurable diseases. O oh, our Redeemer, grant that at his prayers we be delivered from every adversity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since we are threatened by the enemy's plotting, let us entreat the Theotokos by shouting, let your maternal love become a shelter for us. Chase away the adversaries' ranks of dread forces, O blessed of God. Halt the passing swelling tide and madness of demons. Pure Lady, help us all since you are both mother and shelter, a holy defense for us. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out all my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins, and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from my guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation. My tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. 
For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken, humbled heart. God will not despise. Be good, O Lord, and you can pleasure to Zion. Let the walls of Jerusalem be built. And then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. O Saint of God, intercede for us. To Pantelemon I chant this hymn. <coughs> The bundle on I chant this hymn. The son of Ubolai, Ermola, was his acolyte. Defense of the church and all her faithful, you bravely witnessed and gave up your life for Christ. Saint of God, intercede for us. Hear Jesus, I stand and I beg of you, send the awesome power of the Spirit to my own mind, that with inspiration I might hymn them, a mercenary sublime life and martyrdom. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, exalting your wondrous and awesome life, O Pantheleimon, I entreat you to intercede with the word that I might be successful in mortifying the old man within my heart. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, Amen. Without thee to mother, the fathers were the Christ and the Savior. Blessed God, wedded Mariam. Bring peace to the hearts of purest maiden, of them that worship your Son, O all spotless one. Saint of God, intercede for us, overwhelmingly worthy, miraculous Saint of God. Paradise became your new dwelling, just as you hoped it might. You fled from worldly cares, you gave your life up for Jesus. Martyred Saint, help us who sing hymns to your memory. Saint of God, intercede for us. Not except in a payment you famously freely gave. O Pandeleim, on thrice blessed, that which was given you by our most gracious God, whom, whom holy athlete, please pray now that he might bestow on us save in abundant grace. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Darting straight for the heavens, O Pantolemon, you raised. Winning now you enter the kingdom of godly restfulness. Thus at your prayers through Christ, save them that him and extol you from demonic vengeful attacks and anxieties. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Ever humble you gave birth to God's own word, Holy One. Make unceasing pleas as a mother for us, your children, now that we be helped and saved, O pure one, from all the scandals of the world as we all praise Our Lady's Majesty. Support our hearts, which are exposed and in battle, Panteleimon. For becoming a martyr, you became an invincible and sturdy protection for fellow athletes. Support us now, as we the Orthodox praise you, O Theodokos, in our faith in your Son, and in our life which is difficult, since you have the power of motherly boldness. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy, we pray you hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop and Father Savas. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God. 
all pious Orthodox Christians residing visiting in this city, the parishioners, the members of the parish council, the stewards and benefactors of this holy church. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the servants of God, Anastasios, Thespina, David, Christos, and Marlene, and all those who have asked us to pray for them. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and venerable church, for those who labor and those who sing, and for the people here present who ate your great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With grace from above, the Spirit nurtured you to be a wellspring of cures, a fountainhead of miracles, freely giving everything, Pandeleimon pouring out gifts on all, and so in your prayers before Christ, bring healing to all men from all dreadful diseases. Saint of God, intercede for us. Rightly you have been shown to be, O Pantelemon, a worthy specimen of the faithful ones that love the Lord, demonstrating to the world that hate is vain. Saint of God, intercede for us. We beseech you that we be saved. <coughs> o Pandelemon, please drive away our pains and our circumstances filled with dread and the vengeful devil snares and traps for us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. O oh, example of godliness, in your brave confession you manifested Christ, standing fast with martyrs that endure, wrenching pains, O oh, martyr, faint for victory. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Revelation of purity, lady shining brightest among created things, as the one who gave her to the Lord, who redeemed our life out of the serpent's fangs. Saint of God, intercede for us. Knowingly we praise, and we honor your great martyrdom. And we seek, O Saint, your prayers before the Lord, that holding fast to our great faith in him, we might be saved. Saint of God, intercede for us. Issuing from God, grace illumined you entirely. Pandeleimo, you became a guide for all. Unto the Trinity, that blinding light, O valiant one. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Notice and attend now to us who praise your martyrdom, that at your prayers before the living God, our deeds might worthily give honor to the name of Christ. But now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Graciously regard Theotokos, them that honor you, when you present your intercession to the Lord. Since you are mother to Christ God, all pure and spotless one. Saint of God, intercede with for us, physician. Please heal the eyes of my poor soul, like the blind man that you cursed, O blessed martyr, and grant my heart its enlightenment quickly at your entreaties to Christ, who is God and man, that I might surely ascertain the, that the path it is taking leads to the Lord. Saint of God, intercede for us. All merciful Pandeleimon, Saint of Christ, 
Brave God, bearing martyr and the mercenary, entreat the word that the faithful who praise you be granted sure swift deliverance from the threat of grievous spiritual falls or of terrible bodily suffering. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now Satan is weaving nets to snare my soul. In his darkness, O thrice blessed glorified one, yet being stirred to courageous conviction by your defense and protection and grace for me, I race with stiffness now to Christ who defeated the dragon of the abyss. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. The church knows you are the mother of our Christ and the only source of gladness for the whole world. For in you lies our salvation's beginning and the most cherished reward of eternal life at your entreaties to your Son, he grants union with God to humanity. Support our hearts, which are exposed and embattled, Panteleimon, for becoming a martyr, you became an invincible and sturdy protection for fellow athletes. Support us now, as we the Orthodox praise you, O Theotokos, in our faith in your Son, and in our life which is difficult, since you have the power of motherly boldness. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop and Father Savas. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God. All pious Orthodox Christians residing and visiting in the city, the parishioners, the members of the parish council, the stewards and benefactors of this holy church. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the servants of God, Anastasios, Despina, David, Christos, Morlin, and for all those commemorated throughout this Paraclisi service. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who labor and those who sing, and for the people here present to await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. On account of your struggle and martyrdom for the Lord, you were given grace to help and heal and cure the sick, thus becoming a source of miracles beyond all speech. And so fortify us as we face a host of terrible assaults and assorted great maladies. Guard us from every danger and drive off those who would fight us and grant our body and our spirit the healing that they both require. God is wondrous in his saints. God is wondrous in his saints. To the saints on his earth, in them the Lord magnified all his will. God is wondrous in his saints. 
Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said to his disciples, Beware of men who will lay their hands on you and persecute you delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors for my namesake. This will be a time for you to hear testimony. Settle it therefore in your minds, not to meditate beforehand how to answer, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be delivered up even by parents and brothers and kinsmen and friends, and some of you they will put to death. You will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head will perish by your endurance. You will gain your lives. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit at the intercessions of the Holy Martyr. O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen at the intercessions of the Theotokos. O Lord of mercy, blot out my many personal offenses. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. To Pondeleimon, the mercenary's great glory, that Christ-bearing martyr saint, we bestow our lofty praise like a floral crown. He contested here on earth only for the Lord's sake and accepted torments joyfully and waited patiently for the Holy Spirit's own witnessing. His body in being thus welded, the judge of the contest rewarded him. Thus at his bold entreaty, Christ Savior make us worthy to go forth to all the world and all its nations, confessing your holy name. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Kirill, and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Myra, Spiridon, Bishop of Trimithus, Nectarius of Pendapolis, the Wonder Workers, the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George, the victorious, Demetrios, the Mirovlitis, Theodore the Tyron and Theodore the General, Minas the Wonder Worker, the Higher Martyrs, Caralambos and Eleftherios, the Holy, Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, the Glorious Great Martyr and Olaudable Ephemia, the Holy and Glorious Martyrs Tecla, Varvara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of our Holy God-bearing Fathers, of the Holy Righteous 
holy and righteous ancestors of God, Yoakim of Anna, of the holy and glorious great martyr Pandeleimon, the healer of the holy martyr Isavros of Athens and those with him, Basil, innocent Felix, Hermias and Peregrinus, of the holy martyrs Manuel, Sabel and Ishmael of Persia, of righteous father Ipatios of Rufianine, of the holy higher martyr Philonides, bishop of Curium in Cyprus, of righteous father Joseph the Anchorite, who reposed while chanting prayers, of righteous father Pior of Egypt, of our righteous passion, bearer Necton of Wales, of our God-bearing father Boltoff of Iconho in Lincolnshire, and his brother Adolf, bishop of Maastricht, of our righteous father Herveus, abbot in Brittany, <coughs> the righteous Alfanov, brethren of Novgorod, Nikitas, Kiro, Nikiforos, Clement, and Isaac, of Saint Ananias, the iconographer of Novgorod, of the holy new higher martyrs Basil, the archpriest, Seraphim, the higher monk Vladimir, Mark, Basil, and Gabriel, of the holy new higher martyr Ishmael, and his brother Michael, the confessor, the priest, whose memories we celebrate today, and of all your saints. We beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Through the mercy, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Saint of God, intercede for us. Entertain the petitions. Pantaleon the martyr brings to you now, O Christ, and grant them to the faithful who, chanting with the athlete, glorify you as Lord and say, Blessed are you, O God, the God of our fathers. Saint of God, intercede for us, leading us the great martyr, magnifying the truth of the Holy Trinity while facing fearsome tortures and goddess rhetoricians. Lord, the kingdom of Christ in some. Blessed are you, O God, the God of our fathers. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, ever worthy of crowning and the comforts of heaven the martyr of the lord appeals unto the logos for them that raise their voices in the spirit most earnestly blessed are you o god the god of our fathers both now and forever and to the ages of ages amen in admiring the virgin and her marvelous wonders we glorify her son whose birth surpasses logic incarnate of the spirit whom we honor in canticles blessed are you O god the god of our fathers saint of god intercede for us meeting your contest with strength of heart, O God-bearer, bringing down the, de the deceptions of the idols, you entice our hearts to sing with hymns unto the God-man. Saint of God, intercede for us, of wakeful intellect and in an orthodox manner, we seek out the grace of the holy martyr, with which to our lives we shall exceedingly exalt Christ. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now martyr of Christ. 
being the chief of the martyrs, teach us mortals by means of imitation how to rightly worship our Christ unto the ages. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Never cease praying, O temple of the divine word, always in our behalf before the Logos, whom the choirs of angels praise in song unto the ages. Saint of God, intercede for us, invigorated fully by the Holy Spirit. Panteleimon proclaim Christ courageously, thus he was crowned in that glory, and now is magnified. Saint of God, intercede for us, keep preaching of the Logos, by by Pantelaimon, debase his own Father's godlessness brilliantly. My Christ at his intercession, save me from such a state. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, O prize winner beholding your pure and divine soul, ablaze in scion with God's uncreated light. We therefore seek your assistance, great martyr of the Lord. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Devoutly we give worship with Pandelemon unto your son, purest virgin, from whom he died. O mother of the Creator, we supplicate you now. Truly you are worthy to be blessed, Mother of our God, the Theotokos, you the ever-blessed one and all-blameless one, and the Mother of our God. Dinti mi oteraton cherubim, ken oxoteran asingritos ton serafim, Dina dia thoros, teologon te kusan, dinon dos teotokon se megalino men. The pande de imo now be acclaimed, in song holy brethren, that great healer who would not charge, fountain of great wonders, and well of sacred healing, that martyr of the Savior, protector of faithful men. That Pandeleimon be praised in hymns, that son of Ebola, her Malaya stood into the church and all her faithful, have him as pride and boast now, and so that's all honor his name was God's pleasing song. O Pandeleimon, your wondrous man, your God taught physician, and a mercenary divine. Hurry, I implore you to treat with special quickness my terrible afflictions of soul, purse, and body tool. In the Comavia, the right renowned admirer and seeker of confession and sacrifice, great Pandeleimon was slaughtered for the Lord God as a living sacrifice, so now we all cheer for him. O Pandeleimon, you sacred man, we ask you to grant us all the virtues that you display, love that is not lacking, integrity and in service, even the smallest things had to confess the face. With Oh, 
Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Lord, bear and physician, bond Lord, make intercession to our merciful God that he grant our souls remission of offenses. Godly Pandelemon is worthy of our praise, that noble martyr in Christ's name and surest model of fame. For all those who join in contest, thus let us sing him song, for he adored the Savior Christ, and he gladly joined the fight. By witnessing and by working, and so he became a great wellspring of healing miracles for all of the church. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for with nothing to say in our own defense, we sinners offer the supplication to you. Our Master, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us, for in you we trust. Be not enraged with us greatly, nor remember our iniquities. But look upon us now, being compassionate, and deliver us from our enemies. For you are our God, and we your people, all of us the work of your hands. And now we have invoked your name. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Open the gates of compassion for us, O blessed Theotokos. For hoping in you, let us not fail in our aim. Through you may we be delivered from adversities. For you are the salvation of the Christian race. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the protection of this holy church, this city and every city and land, from wrath, famine, pestilence, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, foreign invasions, civil strife and accidental death, that our good and loving God may be merciful, gracious and favorable to us by turning and keeping from us all wrath and sickness and deliver us from his just rebuke 
and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the servants of God. Anastasius, Despina, David, Christus, and Marli, for Christina, Luke, Xavier, Verdian, Carulian, Saffron, Indigo, Obsidian, Rowan, Emily, Elias, Cynicia, Christian, A.D., Haida, Georgia, Gilead, Joanna, Chris, Martin, Family, Justin, Isaiah, Nicholas, Jaden, Rachel, Josiah, Emily, Sela, Leona, Dave, Zach, Zacharias, Ronald, Jacob, Connor, Richard, Jeff, Timothea, Kathleen, Nathan, Jesse, Nicholas, Tyler, Francois, Alexander, and Timothy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God may hear the prayer of us sinners and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear us. O God, our Savior, the hope of all those who live everywhere on earth and those far out at sea or in the air, be gracious toward our sins, Master, and have mercy on us. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy and glorious great martyr Pantelemon the healer, and of the holy martyr Isados of Athens and those with him, Basil, Innocent, Felix, Hermias, and Peregrinos, whose memories we commemorate today, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Come, let us praise the brimming source of great wonders and that pure fountain of healing miracles. Yes, Pondeleimon, model of the martyr's form, that physician who would not charge and striking resemblance to our Savior Christ Himself, the faithful prototype. Come all, you with many diseases, let us bow in faith and in reverence while receiving healing and deliverance. Lady, receive the supplications of your servants and rescue us from all necessity and affliction. Son through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. 
May the blessing and protection of the Holy Trinity through the prayers of St. Bandalemon, the great martyr and healer, be with all of you always. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. <clears throat> it brings me great joy to see um, maybe a few more people than usual for a Wednesday evening Baraklasis. Um, as I think we've, many of us have come together uh, seeking the prayers of St. Bantalemon uh, for our beloved Tassos, Marinos, and all the others that we prayed for this evening. And many of you might not know the life of St. Bantalemon and why we maybe chose him to offer these special prayers this evening. And St. Bantalemon is a very beloved saint in the Orthodox Church. Uh, he was martyred around the, the year 303. And He's very special in that he was a physician. He, he was trained as a physician, and he had a special ability uh, to heal people. In fact, what brought attention to the life of St. Bandalemon was that there was a blind man that the secular pagan physicians were trying to heal, and they, in vain, they weren't able to help this man who was losing his sight. And St. Bandalemon came and publicly um, as he did, he prayed to Christ um, for discernment, for his grace to help him uh, bring healing to this blind man. And in front of all the pagans, he brought sight to the blind man, which brought unwelcomed or let's say attention that you might not have wanted in those days, as this revealed that it was Christ's power working through St. Bandalemon. So he was quickly brought to the, the authorities. He was brought to trial for illegally practicing the Christian faith. And before the Emperor Maximius, uh, he was questioned about his faith. And during the course of this exchange, another sick person was brought to St. Bandalemon to kind of show everyone it was a fluke that he healed this blind man who, whom no one else could heal. And again, publicly using the power of Christ, this person was, had, was healed as well. Angering the authority, the, the emperor, uh, he was subject to many cruel tortures along with his spiritual father, Edmolaus. And these are names you hear during the Holy Unction service. Edmolaus, Bandalemon. Edmolaus was the teacher, was the, was the spiritual father of St. Bandalemon. But during the course of his tortures, St. Bandalemon was being healed by the grace of God. And finally, the emperor ordered that his head should be cut off, and they brought the executioner. And St. Bandalemon was in total freedom, total in control of the situation. And he kneeled on his own, not to offer his head to be chopped off, but to offer his prayers to Christ. And he began praying to the Lord, and the executioner was given the order to drop the axe onto his head to cut his head off. And as the axe came down on his neck, the axe broke. It, had, it, it wasn't able to cut off the head of St. Bandalemon. And it was only when he finished offering his prayers that he said, now you may do what you are going to do to me. And only with that permission did they try again, and his head was, be, was cut off, and he entered into eternal paradise. I offer the life of St. Bandalemon as a reminder tonight that God is in control. Sometimes it seems like things out there are in control, whether it's an illness, whether it's um, someone unjustly doing things to us. In the case of St. Bandalemon, it seemed at the time that the authorities and the executioner had all the power, all the authority. And the life of St. Bandalemon reminds us that ultimately God has all the power. Things don't happen without God's permission. Even an ax cannot cut off, sever the head of a person unless God allows it. If God says no, it's not his time, it won't be his time. And this is the kind of trust we have as Orthodox Christians. Every hair on our head is numbered as we learn in the Holy Scriptures. Saint Porphyrios expounds upon this teaching of our faith to remind us that not one leaf falls from a tree. Today, we, in the whole world, without God's permission, without God's knowledge, um, today we went on a beautiful hike with our joy and some of our Goya families, and we were just all, just in awe of the, the, the nature, the beauty, all the trees and all the cicadas. You know, this year, like every 17 years, we saw our first cicadas. M trillions of these cicadas are going to come out of the, the ground that, you know, which the eggs were laid 17 years ago. It's like a cycle of every 17 years. The beauty of God's creation. And not one of those cicadas 
are going to come out of the ground without God knowing about it. It's like every little detail of nature is um, under God's authority and care. And with this in mind, we think about our loved ones who are sick right now, those whom we're praying for. We think especially for Tasso this evening, because this is a very critical week. The next two weeks are very critical uh, for Tasso, where the doctors are examining him very carefully at the University of Pennsylvania um, to see if his lungs will regain their strength and be healed enough where he can breathe on his own. And, you know, this is what we're praying for. Um, he's not on a list yet for a, a transplant because this is a time of prayer. This is a time of praying that God will bring healing to his lungs. And we pray with faith. We, pr we, we come to these Baraklisi services. I say this all the time, not because we don't have something better to do with our time on a Wednesday evening. It's a beautiful evening. You all could be sitting on your back porch tonight enjoying the beautiful nature but you came into your cars, you drove to the church to pray together, and what was your motivation? Probably most of you, your motivation was your love for Tasso and his family and to want to offer this prayer. And it is this love that, that allows the synergy to work. God's grace with our humble offering is what works together um, to bring healing. I mean, but God knows. We, we entrust everything into God's hands. God is the one who's in control. We totally trust God with everything. Let us not have anxiety. Let us have peace knowing that God is in control, that we're going to offer what we can and ask for God to offer His grace. And may the two meet together to work through all the wonderful doctors, nurses, and physicians in our hospitals. Um, to bring about what we're all praying for, which is the healing of our beloved Tasso and all those other people that we've prayed for this evening. I know we each have people in our families, our acquaintances who are sick with physical illnesses, spiritual illnesses, psychological illnesses, all kinds of illness out there. Um, and we're praying for God's healing. But most of all, we pray for the healing of our souls and the salvation of our souls. Remember, St. Pantelemon was a gifted person. He was healing people. He could have said, you know what, I'll just pretend like I'm not a Christian so I can live another 50, 60 years and I can do a lot of good in this world. I can heal a lot of people. That could have been a temptation for St. Pantelemon. Had he done that, I'm sure God would have worked through him. He would have done amazing things healing people, but he would have been forgotten today. But because of his faithfulness to Christ, he's remembered 1,700 years later here we are in the United States, in Lancaster County, coming together to offer a Baraklisi service to St. Pantelemon. And the reason for that was his faithfulness to Christ, and God made him known throughout the world, throughout all of history, and think of all the people who have been healed through his prayers over the many centuries he's been praying from paradise. So this is a reminder, no matter what happens in life, let us be faithful to Christ, let us entrust everything, our health, our minds, our souls, into His care. He'll take care of us, and we don't have to have any anxiety about anything. It's in Echiotheos, right? This is what we say. Echiotheos, God provides. Whenever you feel anxious, examine your life, repent for your sins, pray to God and say, Echiotheos, you have nothing to worry about. This is how we all want to live our lives so we can receive the grace of God, the light of Christ, and spread that light to the world around us. And as the world becomes darker, the little light in your soul will shine brighter. So don't even be anxious about the world and the way things are turning out in the world. It's actually a greater opportunity for us to witness the love and light of our Lord because more attention will be brought to Christ as things get darker all around us. So let us have hope um, in the gospel of our Lord and His grace uh, through the prayers of St. Bandalemon. May God bring healing to Tasso and all those who were lifted up in prayer this evening. At this time, uh, please come forward to venerate the icon of St. Bandalemon, and may His blessing be with you and all your families. Amen. <laughs>